Hi there, it's Michael Saldana with the Amanda Bank team. I've got a beautiful Sunnyvale townhome to show you today. This is the Plan 1R. It's two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,216 square feet, centrally located in Sunnyvale, close to Cupertino, close to all the tech companies. Quick disclaimer, we are not affiliated with Land Sea Homes, but if you are interested, you'd like more information, or you'd like to take a tour, Amanda's contact information is below. One quick reminder, the first time that you visit a new construction home, always bring your real estate agent so they can represent you and negotiate on your behalf. You know how I love foyer areas and homes, and this foyer area, it is super usable. First, we've got the garage accessible right here, enough room for a little cabinet, a setup area, a mirror, so you can make sure you're ready to go before you go out the front door. Just saying, um, over here, we've got a huge under stairs storage area. Look how big that is. I like that they have the extra height too. You can put some more shelves in there. Very cool. What I also like is they put the washer and dryer machine here. So you can run this at nighttime or during the day. And you don't have to worry about the ting, 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 you know, all that stuff. Um, oh, let me, this bathroom. Okay, let me tell you, I love this wallpaper. I know it's kind of dark wallpaper and maybe not everyone like that, but for a powder room, a half bathroom, I mean, it's just gives it so much character. Um, this bathroom is actually pretty big too, so it's not like the minimum size. You have a pedestal sink to save some room. Um, very, very nice for your foyer. Right when you enter the house, a very usable space. And at 1,200, a little over 1,200 square feet, you'd be amazed at how much usable space there is in this house. All right, let's go take a look upstairs. All right, here we are on the main living space and the first thing that jumps out at you is the kitchen. This gorgeous kitchen island with the waterfall. Like you, you could see this quartz at the store and it would probably scare a lot of people off. But when you look at it here, you've got these black pendant lights with the glass. You've got the apron front sink, black hardware. I love what they've done with this kitchen and the kitchen cabinets, how it's inset into the wall. You have kind of this structure around it. Everything just fits inside. It's so cool, very clean. It's just one flat wall, really nice. I love what they've also done with the crown molding. So the crown molding on top of the cabinets, right in there and get this, look at this stove. They have a black Bertazzoni stove. Like once again, I love colors, and, but you look at how cool that stove looks. It really punctuates this whole kitchen. Awesome, I really love it. Not only that, but I love what they've done with the living room over here. It's not often that you see a circular couch. Isn't this a cool setup? A circular couch. I, we took some pictures where I did this. Look at, I love how this is though. You see how it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's very usable. You can still see your TV. And also we've got this hanging light. This is like a new trend. I really like lights like this. The hanging overhead kind of floor lamp. A new thing, very cool. You've got three windows to let in a lot of natural light. Um, oh, get this, look at this. One of the books, The Beatles, album by album. I love The Beatles. <laughs> That's how I knew this place was cool. Um, okay, over here we've got a desk, perfect for work from home. Um, you know, you've got plenty of light. I love it, you've got light here, you've got light coming through your patio door. I love how they actually chose to stage it here. Um, look at this, they've got two clocks so that you can keep track of your buddies on the East Coast. And you can be like, oh, are they done with work yet? Ooh. <laughs> um, the balcony is great. It's actually really big. There's a lot of room out there. You can have your breakfast or your morning coffee and really enjoy it. And just take a look at this kitchen again from this point of view. Doesn't this look cool? Like, what a clean and elegant setup. What a great use of space. Very nice. All right, now let's take a look at the primary bedroom. Now you, you might have thought that living space was really big, right? Even the primary bedroom, it's huge. Look at this, this is a full king size bed. Believe it or not, this is a full king size bed. You've got room for nightstands on both sides. Three windows to let in a lot of natural light. Wow, very cool, very cool. Over here we've got a full-sized walk-in closet. 
like plenty of room for everything that you need. I love it. Isn't that cool? Okay, now let's take a look at the bathroom. I actually really like this bathroom. It makes you really makes you feel like you're going into like a spa where it's like there's so much these, these dark colors kind of just jump out at you and make you feel like you're going in somewhere else. Um, this dark color, the dark colored edge on the mirror really kind of punctuates it. I haven't seen shower tiles like this in a long time. Look at that. Elongated hexagons are kind of reflective. They have like a stone texture to them. Wow. Very, very cool. You've got the private facilities over there. Plenty of room to do everything that you need. All right, let's go take a look at the other bedroom. Just one reminder, in case you don't like the colors or the feel of this house, because it's a new construction home, when you purchase it, you can choose all the colors, all the features, the flooring, the countertops. This is just an example. So if you work with us, we'll help you with that process. We've seen a lot of great homes. We can get you set in the right direction. I actually really like this room. This room is a square, but they've done this paint. They've painted half of it green and the other half white, continuing a little bit with the black and the white you see throughout the house. Like it almost makes the room feel like it has like a feature. It's a little bit bigger on one side than the other. I don't know, it's very unique. I like it though, but it's a nice contrast to the rest of the house. And uh, you've got two windows with plenty of light. They put some mirrors on the closet doors, a mirror over here to kind of give Make it feel like there's a little bit of extra room. Let's take a look at the bathroom now. I actually, I like how this bathroom came together. We have, this is, um, it's an oval, look at this, an oval penny tile. So they, they're called a penny tile because they're shaped like, they're the size of pennies, but these are ovals. I've actually never seen anything like that before. It almost looks like little raindrops coming down. And um, I like that they went with a white countertop here just for a little variety. Like I said, you can mix it up. You can have all the same in your house. It's up to you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. If you like what you see, you're thinking about buying a new construction home or really any home in the Bay Area, give Amanda a call. Her contact information is below. Until next time, see you later. Bye.